Today we'll be taking a look at the four best hitch options available for our 2011 Ram 3500. Up top we're going to have the Kurt Class 5 trailer hitch receiver part number C15809. Next down we're going to have that Reese Titan which is going to be part number 45288. The third one down here is going to be that Kurt XD or extra duty receiver hitch part number C15409. And down here on the bottom is going to be our draw tight class 4 part number 41929. Up top we're going to talk about these two the the Kurt and the Reese. Now the Kurt commercial duty receiver hitch is going to be the the heavy duty one that we have here. It's going to have the highest towing capacity as well as the highest tongue weight capacity. Both are going to have that two and a half inch by two and a half inch receiver tube opening which is going to be great for your heavy equipment haulers. Now they're both going to be fully welded. The Reese Titan is going to have a little bit more strengthening devices as far as your extra gussets welded on and the plate steel design that's welded onto the front instead of underneath like you do with the Kurt. Now the Kurt's still going to be that top choice with its gussets up top rather than down here where they can be visible. The Kurt is going to have a nice sleek design and everything is kind of going to be tucked away. It's still going to have that fully welded design and plate steel gussets just as you would on the Titan down here below. Now the Titan, the extra things that it's going to have, it's going to have that forged steel end cap for extra strength on the end of your receiver tube as well as that plate design for your chain tie downs that goes up and over rather than underneath and or above. And it's going to come with your wiring tie down or mounting point bracket here on the side. Let's go ahead and talk about the weight differences between the two real quick. We're going to have a 2,700 pound tongue weight capacity for our Kurt and down here we're going to have a 1,200 pound tongue weight capacity that's going to be our max tongue weight for that Reese Titan. Up top you're going to have that 20,000 pound towing capacity versus your 12,000 pound towing capacity. Now weight distribution is not going to affect your Kurt all those weights will still stay the same whether you have weight distribution or not. Now weight distribution with the Reese Titan is going to bump it up a little bit with that max tongue weight capacity being 1700 pounds and max towing capacity going up to 14,000 over your 12,000 without it. Both of which will both have 5 8 inch pinholes going straight through to attach your ball mounts or other accessories that you wish to use. Something else that the Reese kind of gives that the, the Kurt doesn't is it's going to give a little cover. It's going to go inside that receiver tube hole just to kind of block anything from getting in there as well as a pin and clip. Now if you already have a pin and clip and you don't really care too much about the cover then your Kurt's the way you're going to go. All right now another significant difference between the Kurt and that Reese Titan is that the Reese Titan is actually it's got a little bit shorter of a bracket and they tuck it out to where the receiver is actually underneath the, the back and square tube. So it's actually going to tuck up behind that OEM hitch a little bit, but it's going to rest in the same exact spot almost identically as that Kurt. All right, down here on the bottom, we're going to talk about our two inch by two inch receiver tubes. Now, the Kurt Extra Duty is going to be a class five hitch, and those weights are going to be significantly higher than the draw tight ultra frame class four. Now both are going to have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. The only major difference between them besides the weight is that the Kurt is going to sit down below your OEM hitch whereas the draw tight is going to tuck itself up a little bit behind. They're both going to sit in almost the exact same spot on the back of the vehicle. So you're not really going to have any difference between your ground clearance. Now your Kurt is going to have about a four inch square tube. Your draw tight's gonna have a three inch square tube over that four inch square tubing. Both are gonna have fully welded designs and gussets to add extra support. Your Kurt is actually gonna have that plate up here and on the bottom that's gonna be fully welded all the way around to help provide that extra strength as well as gussets up on the side brackets where you're gonna be mounting it. Now the draw tight down below it's going to have that gusset that's going to come all the way around that's actually going to be your chain tie down as well and it's going to have that plate welded on top. Now let's go ahead and talk about weights. 
since those are gonna be the big playing factor in these receiver hitches. Your Kurt Extra Duty is gonna have a 2,550 pound tongue weight capacity and a 17,000 pound towing capacity. Now that is with or without weight distribution. So weight distribution is not gonna play a big part in this besides giving your trailer a better ride, whether that's having a camper or something else on the back. These are gonna be big heavy duty hitches and they're gonna be great for pulling those big trailers. Now coming down on the draw tight, you're gonna have a 1,200 pound tongue weight capacity and a 12,000 pound towing capacity. Now that's gonna go up a little bit with weight distribution to 1,500 pounds and 15,000 pounds. Now another thing that the draw tight's gonna offer over that Kurt is gonna be that it's gonna have an extra pinhole in it. You're gonna have that 5 8 inch pinhole and that half inch pinhole straight ahead of it. That's gonna be that J-pin stabilization hole. That's gonna be an extra anti-rattle device that you can use that's gonna help stabilize your load. All four hitches are gonna be extremely easy to install with just slipping some blocks and carriage bolts into the frame and placing on the nuts. Just make sure that you get an extra set of hands to help you hold it in place because all four of these hitches are rather heavy. You're just gonna to wanna to pick what's gonna be best for your application. You know the weights of them now, and you can kind of compare those from what we've talked about. You know the big differences as well, whether that's gonna be your gussets that are gonna be a little bit more visible, whether the hitch is gonna be tucked up a little bit more, or hang down and have that big four inch square tubing. And here you see our Kurt commercial duty receiver hitch already installed on our vehicle and how it's gonna look. All right, it's gonna sit down below that OEM hitch. Now this receiver hitch is gonna be heavy duty and using it with that OEM two inch receiver, you know, you're gonna have a lot more options with what you're gonna be able to pull and what you're gonna be able to do. Granted, you are gonna lose about six inches of ground clearance from the bottom of the OEM hitch down to the bottom of your new receiver. That's all gonna be pros and cons based on what you're planning on doing with your truck. And that will do it for our review of the four best hitch options available.